Okay, let's take a look now at a special type of magnetic field called a catapult field. Uh, to do that, same worksheet, scroll to question number 4. Okay, so over here is uh, we have two permanent magnets, alright, uh, it's a 2D image, and basically you have a cable, a coil, okay, and the current is coming out of the screen towards you, alright, it's like um it's like this previous question the left hand side all the all the dots on the left hand side where the cable is coming out of the screen so to do this kind of question all right to draw this kind of magnetic field uh first of all we're going to draw the permanent magnet first the north and south one first so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw here okay remember permanent magnets have uh straight lines they always go from north to south okay the permanent magnetic field is always north to south and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to, I'm going to draw the current, the, using right hand rule, I'm going to draw the magnetic field for the electromagnet, the one with the current. So th your thumb is pointing out of, the, out of the screen. So four fingers curling in the anti-clockwise direction. Like this. Okay. Uh, let's draw one more. Just to make it clearer. Alright, so magnetic field lines are vectors. So what do I mean by their vectors? So remember, they have magnitude and direction. So remember I told you earlier, when you have two field lines in the same direction, right? Um, sorry, when you have two field lines in the opposite direction, they cancel out, right? You get nothing. But however, you have two field lines in the same direction, right? Both of them are pointing in the same direction. They don't cancel out. In fact, they add to each other. They become a lot stronger. Right, so if you look at this few lines here, okay, if you look at the green one, especially uh, the the electromagnetic ones, you you see that the top left, okay, if you look at the halfway point, okay, the top half of this, sorry, uh, it should be here, the top half of this, right, uh, most of it is pointing to the left hand side, and the bottom part, the green lines, most of them are pointing to the right hand side. The permanent magnet, the red ones, are always pointing to the right hand side because it's always north to south. So what happens is that those at the bottom half of the green one, all right, we're going to add them together, all right, because like vectors, uh, the bottom half, can you see that they are actually, um, the for the bottom half of it here, the since the green and the red are pointing in the same direction, this case is true. For the top half, they cancel out. So I'm going to change the blue color, okay, and how it looks like is I'm going to draw them, I'm going to draw the combined one, okay, uh, uh, like this like this okay like this okay so the combined uh the effect of the magnetic field pattern is that you when you combine both of them together you only be left with the blue one so i'm going to erase the top the red and this one here okay so when you combine magnetic field lines all you'll be left with is the final blue ones Okay, uh, this is called a catapult field. Why is it called a catapult field? Because it's like you're pulling a slingshot backwards here, but and when you release it, there's going to be the force that's going to push propel, uh, the cable upwards. Okay, this is going. What is going to happen is that uh, the reason why this is called a catapult field is because this cable here is going to experience a force that is going to push it forward. Right. This is related to Fleming's left hand rule. 